Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division video, and in this one, we're going to be talking about all things global event Onslaught. Onslaught is going to be the second global event that is planned for year three of the Division. This will be dropping just after update 1.8.1 drops. Update 1.8.1 is due to drop in April, and this global event should be arriving shortly after in May. Much like the last global event I showed off that is coming in year three of the Division, that one being Blackout, this global event is also based around ammo and the effects ammo can have. So let's go over the modifiers. As always, we start with the global modifier. This one is applied to all PvE activities within the division. So you can deal burn, bleed, and gas effects to enemies in addition to normal damage, reload to change the effect. The Savage Onslaught modifier, which can be applied and used on missions within the Onslaught playlist. This one is, enemies are vulnerable to one effect type and resistant to others. Agents take increased damage from resistant enemies. And finally, the modifier for playing in a group on the playlist missions is called Brutal Onslaught. So all of the previous modifiers, plus when two or more group members kill vulnerable enemies within two seconds, each member can reload to gain a damage bonus for a single clip. Now what missions are included in Onslaught's playlist? So the incursion is Stolen Signal, and then we've got Warren Gate Power Plant, Police Academy, Broadway Emporium, and Russian Consulate. Not a bad selection if I do say so myself. I remember speedrunning Police Academy to get high ends back in the day when it was very, very hard to do so. Now much like the other new global event blackout, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any new gear sets. So the gear sets that will be returning for this global event are Classified Firecrest, Classified Lone Star, Classified Predmark, and Classified Reclaimer. This is what I'm showing on the PTS anyway, this could change and if it does I'll let you guys know. Right, so in the last video I did when I showed off the global event blackout, I got a lot of questions revolving around the commendations for that global event as well as the masks. Not only did I forget to show them, but I also realised once I went back to get some footage for them that you can not actually see them, so you're not able to see any commendations for future global events or any of the masks that should be dropping with these global events. And that goes for this one as well, as you can see on your screen. So that about wraps up for Onslaught. As always, I will have a tips and tricks video for this global event a couple of days before it does go live on the main game. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and then you'll be able to see that one in your subscription box when it goes up. Much like the last global event video I did, I'm gonna leave some gameplay of me and Pulse Idiot going through Police Academy with all of the modifiers on. Unfortunately, no audio with it again, I'm not sure why this keeps happening, but I've got that same funky music that you all enjoyed. So yeah guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know either by leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the things The Division, then please make sure to subscribe. But as always, I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.